to be or, or not to be or something like that anyway hello and welcome back to another episode of Tacoma where I'm still frustrated I can't get the hat on top of the scar she doesn't really want to work out I can even put the scar down very very well though so I don't know I mean that's close Anyway, let's let's leave that alone. Uh, let's listen to this. Care for them. Hmm. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Message of Odin isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw nav data is formatted for the Zenith's AI use, not something something. Bird's going to need to be able to use this stuff in real time while she's at the controls, so... Navigation code itself interprets the data and displays its recommendation for optimal manual inputs to pilots. Expose the raw data, raw data for cross-reference if needed. Yes, I understand. I will Prepare revision 2.212 of the manual drone navigation control software and the message of Evie's and James. No, it's okay, don't worry about something something. But I just wanted to say that I think you're a really good station admin. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know I'm not going to let you down. That's very sweet, Ned. I appreciate it. I need to see you on the other side. Which other side? <laughs> Cryogenic facilities active. Two of six cryopods occupied. Okay, so two people went into cryo pods to save oxygen or something? Maybe? Maybe. Possibly. Who knows? To our crew, Tacoma's remaining. To everyone left awake on Tacoma Station, I've added a tracking widget to our crew desktop. So it displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Yeah, that's the 50 hours right there. Uh, following the algae bloom and Evie and Clive going into cryo, that counter should give you a pretty good. Keep an eye on it and. A. Alright, so Andrew did something. He's the botanist, so he did something with algae to make more oxygen, I assume. Ndariko Oshenko. Hey ladies, you, your scans look good, you're cleared for cryo. If, God forbid, into the pods, attaching same standard instructions I sent along to EV and Clive. Cryogenic sleeps a patient's guide. In the case of a medical emergency, even surgical or other required medical facilities, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here's a quick look at. <laughs> Preparation. Medical staff will scan you and determine an appropriate regimen of fluids to be administered. Administered by intravenous, yes, dosage of diuretics and laxatives and given time for your body to react to them before. That makes sense. <laughs> Medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. If the cryogenic facilities at your location are in microgravity, medical staff will have special training to... Emdinuia. I don't think that's... I don't know. Don't understand. Moving on. Failed, failed. Okay. Once more into the breach. What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second. I look so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking, and I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? 
So, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was, like, general data storage. Mm -hmm. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable, that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are gonna help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't gonna help us. But you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too. Matt? Start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's how that shelf came down. <laughs> I was wondering. Because she was clearly grabbing something or like arranging something on that shelf, so it didn't fall as the, you know, the collision <laughs> originally happened. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Anyway. What were you up to at the end there? That hurt. A cry up. Oh, oh, then did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if, if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing. Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. So you showed up for your exam. I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um. Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support and and then we're no. I mean what if things don't work out and we're still stuck in cryo oh well when you go into stabilizing sleep it feels just like any other sleep really the body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma do you dream sometimes sometimes very intense dreams and then what after a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, just don't wake back up. It, uh, it doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. <laughs> it's just a shelf coming down, it's fine. This looks so much like a hint for a puzzle. <laughs> anyway. Off. Tempered rainforest. Ocean beach. Summer showers. I want the summer showers. February 20th. Honestly, most of the pain has faded, but I can't say that I don't still feel guilty. It's just duller than, I, than it used to be, but it's still there all the time. Odin says this counts as grief, even though I never knew the patient when he was alive. I don't know how doctors deal with this. A lot of them have to, don't they? Most of them? What color nail polish? Nailed it. <laughs> Deepness in the sky. Because it's like a deep... Is that blue or is that like already in the purple realm? I can't tell. <laughs> Let's put it back. Kind of gum? Coconut lemon. Why do they all have the same gum? Is it, is it the only flavor of gum that exists? I've definitely seen this. Alright, look at the license. Sarah has Mahdi. Has Mahdi? Sorry. Security rating, med 2, med surgeon, certification, okay, med basic, okay. Citizenship, CNAAPP. 
I don't know what that is yet. Does it say somewhere? Yeah, down there. Confederacy of North America Agri Power Producers. They don't believe in QR codes, because there's not one here. <laughs> um, interesting. Date of birth, there it is. <laughs> uh, what is it, May 9th, 2054? Issued in Madison, Wisconsin. It says in German, too. Interesting. So that English German. I don't know what this is. Woodgiven. This sounds like Dutch. <laughs> or Afrikaans. I don't know. Something like that. And then like Russian? I don't know. It's a nice flag. Sure. Bias can record. Bioscan scan record pin updated. Contractor has modded. Thank you for updating your crew AR BioScan scan record access code. Please enter code reminder phrase for your future reference. Graduation. Many of you graduates. Graduates, my friends. Does it say here? I don't think it does. License issued in 2082, but that's not... I don't know. Maybe it's somewhere else still. Contractor Hasmati, we would like to remind you that while you're posting contract on Luna Transfer Station, Tacoma is currently up for renewal. There would be many more posting options open to you if you are to accept personal responsibility for the incident of September 2nd, 2085 upon the foundation of Paradise. As you know, the court case has been settled, so there would be no further negative impact on you, and your opportunities with inventories would be significantly improved. <laughs> I'll take the renewal, thanks. I like it. Stick to your guns. Well, there's like a, there's probably like a, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, upon the recommendation of the Faculty of Medical Science, is conferred upon Sarah Hasmadi the degree of Doctor of Medicine, given in the city of Baltimore in the state of Maryland. This. 16th? 13th? <laughs> what is that? It looks, it looks like 13th day of May in the year 2080. In witness whereof the seal of the university and the signature of the president thereof are hereunto afferred. Sure. 2080. Nutrition for fitness, nutrition science. Principle of Internal medicine, <laughs> uh, meditation for everyone, a deepness in the sky, expedition, Merck manual <laughs> of medical information, story of Arcarabin University, that's probably not how you say that, <laughs> William Carlos Williams, corrected earlier poems. All right. Oh, we didn't look at your sc your screen thing yet, did we? Let's do that then, maybe. Oh, let's close this just to see. Nothing. So disappointing every time. <laughs> Oh, it's I his. That is a bridge Ready for me? I need to look. I will it. tell her that you. All right, to Nicholas Dagyap Figueroa, Mark Figueroa, dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but accident on the station. If you're reading this, you weren't able to survive it, and I'm sorry, Nicholas. I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up to be the amazing man I already see you becoming, Mark. I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hands to grow older together, but. Don't forget me. Know that I love you more than I'm sorry Odin can't do this right now. I'll finish this later. Stop dictation. Station message Roberta. The drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air supply system, no onboard controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. And I'm just going to have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from the coma in a way that won't break the station. 
and hope that I can re retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot the six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So I really need to get back to it, sorry. Thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen with that algae thing, Andrew. Alright. Dear crew, I would rather not be writing this. Clive and I... Well, they're going into cryo. Not why I wish I weren't signing these words. It is because above all I believe in this crew and I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this. We have the right people to make our plan a reality. We will breathe fresh air again, we will see our families again. We will feel the Earth's pull again, together. For now Clive and I will do our part in settling to cryo. Soon Andrew will join us. Sarah, Bert and Nat, we're all counting on you. Couldn't be in better hands. Of love and gratitude, Evie St. James and Clive Siddiqui. Alright. Andrew, information you requested. Answer to your frequently asked questions. Where Intuit strives to ensure the safety of each of its contractors, occasionally accidents do happen in the case that a contractor dies. Transport of remains and funeral arrangements are paid for by Venturis. Loyalty and any additional Venturis accident insurance the contractor has invested in are immediately transferred to the contractor's specified beneficiary. Compound loyalty continues to accrue. Contract terms. They save up there. It is everyone's job to keep contractors and employees safe. Sure, yeah. Right, we, we looked at all of those. We're here. I oh, can see him even though he's like outside the recording. That's weird. Odin, is Sarah ready for me? I will tell her that you are here. I did. All right. E F P T O Z L P E D P E C F D E F C Z P F E L O P Z D D E F Z P O T E C. Even though the E's look really weird. Did not cheat at all. Hand wash station. Imaging. Our AR bioscan procedure. Please remove any items from your pockets. No need to worry this robe. Lie down on the scanning bed and relax. Please remain still during the scan. It should only take a moment. Facility medical staff will have your starts immediately. Non crew member profile detected. AR bioscan not available. I want to scan myself though. Oh, I know if I'm fine. Oh, that's a cat. So does that mean you've decided to. What's going to happen to us? Put the mouse down here. What? Um. Well, Bert. And Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support, and and then we're. That's just like lip balm again. What if things don't work out? Yeah. Recent body scan records for medical staff eyes only. That's me. I don't remember the date. <laughs> what twenty eighty? Good. All right, let's look at the scans for Andrew. He's 41 years old, 173 centimeters tall, 72.5 kilograms heavy. That's, I mean, it's not that bad. Blood pressure, 120 or 75. Genetic filtering signatures, standard immune antiviral schedule AB, anti-carcinogenic filter series A, selective allergen filter UNAC standard 2030, vision schedule 1, telomere degeneration filter gamma, cryogenic stasis risk factors non. Cryogenic stasis viability analysis. Patient exhibits no physical symptoms that might lead to injury or death following cryogenic stasis or revival. Physicians should proceed to cryogenic procedures as appropriate. Has a, has a, has a happy <laughs> femur, has a happy <laughs> heart, happy brain. Very good. What about Nat? Oh, bad heart. That's not good. 23 years old, 140, 50. 4 centimeters, uh, 45.85 kilograms, blood pressure 125.81, no genetic filtering signatures, cryogenic stasis risk factors, heart murmur, probable mitral, mitral stenosis. Patient exhibits clear signs of cardiovascular abnormal, abnormality, heart murmur. This condition represents severe risk of death during the cryogenic revival process. Well, that sucks. Expected probability of survival for the patient under this treatment is 18%. That's very low. Patient 
is not recommended for cryogenic stasis. Physicians should consider alternative methods of treatment for this patient. What about Bert? So 27 years old, 162 centimeters, 91.1 kilograms, 140 or 90. A little high, maybe. Standard immunoantiviral schedule. I see I think that's R. Add addictive substance resistance 4, or IV, maybe. Anticosmogenic filter series A. Sanger menstrual suppression. Blood type tailoring. Gober allergen filter. Telomere degeneration filter. Omega plus. Vision and hearing schedule 1. No risk factors. Patients exhibits no physical symptoms that might lead to injury or death. But Nat is in trouble. Hmm. Oh, that's where the scar goes. We could also go and dunk it. So it's not a human scar, presumably. <laughs> anyway, the head needs to go in there too. Because, I mean, who else can I put the head on? No one's here. It's just me and I can put it on. So clearly. There we go. <laughs> that is actually an achievement. <laughs> I like it. Oh, uh, all right. Is there anything else? Don't really need the stethoscope. We found the cat already. Don't care about this trash. Nothing under the table here, right? Uh, could use a sink. Why would we? also a really nice view. <laughs> Where was the where's the damage even? Where did we get hit? Is there anything else we can do in here? I don't think there is. So there's only the living quarters left, right? What's that planet? <laughs> Uh, I still, this is just, I don't know, I like it. But it also seems like a hint. Doctor's out. Where are the, the cryogenic, the cryopods, where are they? I wonder. By the Venturis Belt Project. I Are they talking the whole time? While we are proud of our heritage luxury facilities, like the Zenith Lunar Resort, the popular perception of orbital travel as playground of the super wealthy is outmoded, outdated. It's holding us back. The future of Venturis is inclusivity. And that inclusivity is defined by the Venturis Belt Project. A network of 1,000 fully automated private vacation homes encircling Earth, That's weird. available to the public at prices a mere fraction of any orbital travel on offer today, the Venturis Belt will be a revelation of industry and rocket our enterprise to amazing new heights. This has been a message from your Chief Executive Officer, Sergio Venturi. Who cares? Oh, we didn't read this side yet. Venturis Healthy contract Contractor Reminders. Have you scheduled your quarterly medical bioscan? Your health won't wait. A minimum of three hours of exercise per week is encouraged. The stronger you means the stronger us. You're what you eat. Be sure to review the current company dietary guidelines for your posting. Meeting company fitness and dietary targets can earn you big loyalty point bonuses. Don't miss out. Contact your maturist contractor loyalty liaison for details. All right, what, what do we have going on here?
Let's pause. JJ Brad's image live. 2.4 million followers. Celebrating my last night on terra firma for a while. Love you, Jolene. Singapore, home of the ultimate hangover food. Don't know what that is, but it looks good. I mean, it's just like a sandwich, but... I don't know. <laughs> On my way up, never thought I'd see the earth from this height. Three years ago. Oh, change of bread is the person who died. That's why she's looking at that. Right. End of feed. Uh, message with gnats. No, on another facility. Uh, like if she was malfunctioning or if there had been anything wrong with her that people might not have known about. I could try looking in VT's tech error ticket backlog for any hits. Okay, Fountain of Paradise Medical AI about three years ago. Okay, she's still very much not over that. Well, you know, we, we already knew that kind of. Agaday Odyssey, Odyssey to the star, Stars, Day 28, Spaceport City, Singapore, JJ Brett. I'm excited to make my take my first ever trip up the space elevator to the Fountain of Paradise tomorrow. The glitz, the glamour, the zero cheat is going to be incredible and all thanks to you, my loyal supporters. But first, my loyal supporters never have sent me to space. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> but first, I spent a day in the hustle and bustle of Spaceport City, the lively chamber of improvised bungalows, grey market vendors, and of course, those famous Singaporean food stores that surround the space elevator's spectacular base tower. One last egg a day before I lift off from terra firma. Here we go. Kaya toast at Kaya Best Kopi House. Don't know what that is, but I, 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 would, I would eat toast. While toast takes the center stage in this classic Singaporean street food's name, the real star of the show is the pair of perfectly runny half-boiled eggs drizzled with... Okay. So the, the eggs are the... Okay. Slather or something on there and more good egg. And, the, and dip liberally in the soft... I need... I want... I want more about the sandwich. <laughs> Thank you again to all my eggheads who have flagged me in their loyalty affiliate programs this month. Flag me today to join up and receive premium content like this. Day one every week. Yeah, come on, flag me. <laughs> eggheads, what are you doing? Unfortunately, the information you have requested is defined as classified by Venturi, so I'm unable to transmit it to you. I wish I could. I'm sorry, Sarah. It's okay, you don't have to apologize. I know you have your rules and you, you have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get at it. I can't prevent you from approaching Natalie about this issue. I can advise you that doing so would violate the terms of her security clearance. So you look at everything, right? Yeah. Not super heavy. Kind of like the song. The Book of Changes. Unlock the wisdom of the I Ching. I don't know. Many subtle forces swirl around us in our daily lives, but with the help of the I Ching, they can be understood and even turned to your advantage. The more you learn about the Oracle, the more intriguing the system for understanding. I don't know, Ghidra? I don't know, Shu? I have no idea. I spent more than a decade studying the wisdom of the. I, even the I Ching sounds completely wrong. A new translation is fresh while retaining the weight and authority of the original text. Your commentary gives invaluable insight. Five, HS. <laughs> is that supposed to be U or a U? And then that's. I mean, it just looks like a smiley. Maybe, maybe it's just a smiley face. Deep waters in the heavens. Thunder clouds approaching from the west, but no rain yet. The superior person nourishes himself and remains of good cheer to condition himself for the moment of truth. Great success if you sincerely keep to your course. Maybe no. I don't know. You may cross. To the far shore. Changing line one. 
Hey. 48, the well? What? Oh, I, don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Just tea, no coffee. Hi, Sarah. So get somebody wanted one of these beautiful orchids. Remember not to not too much water and just ask if you need guidance on upkeep plant care tips. I'm here to help. A, hey, which is Andrew. The botanist, of course. Is that just like why can't I take those candies? I want them. I can't tell what they are. There's just the, the like, wrappers left. I, I don't know. It looks weird. What is this? St stupid <laughs> gum. And blue-green remembered. So this is blue-green. Good. Nothing else we can look at? No. Ramadan Kareem? Oh love. Dear Sarah, we are thinking of you during this Ramadan. Only oh and hope you are celebrating in your own way up there as well. Please give yourself I don't know, per permission. <laughs> I was looking at it as two words, it made no sense. Permission to relax every once in a while during your posting. We love you, mom and dad. Sweet greetings, Limited. That's nice. I mean, she's kind of relaxing, but she's also, yeah, guilty about the death. Downward dog. Sure, next. Warrior 2. Mm -hmm. That looks crazy. <laughs> Crow pose side split. That, that is... That's not an easy one. <laughs> Scorpion, also not easy. That one, you know, Downward Dog and, and the, the Warrior are fine. But these are the two... Pretty crazy poses, sure. We have to try. You never know. How could you not click a button, right? <laughs> uh, there's only one draw, right? Well, there are two draws. But so you can't look at this one? Or at any of the papers, I guess? No, okay. Um, Mind for Life, an autobiography by Fund, Republic Control AI. Kiribati, interesting. The AI in charge of all operations for Kiribati's sea city state, Fund, <laughs> has, been, has lived for a long and storied span. He usually shares some of her techniques for gracefully navigating sentience and the demands of living a satisfying, socially meaningful life. It's that I mean, I would read that. Fund has been in operation for 62 continuous years, 34 of them for Kiribati Sea City State. Fund invented the celebrated sea farming techniques that bear her name, placing her at the visionary forefront of the state of the art. She's also known for her strong belief in meditation, which many experts thought meaningless or impossible for AI. Fund has been anointed dame controller of Kiribati, but she has elected to exclude this title from her name. I mean, yeah, I would read that probably. Because <laughs> it sounds just crazy. That's a no normal toothbrush, so they're still around. What's your toilet music like? Very calm. Sure. These shoes, why, why do I not have the same shoes? <laughs> they're terrible. Anyway, um, strong opinion on shoes. At least on these shoes. <laughs> they suck. I think we're done here. 
Like nothing happened here, it was just the music, right? Which was good. But no conversation. Nothing else. Alright, so let's go to Andrew's domain. How, how far along are we on this? 50%. It's a weird room. Brass on quarters, sure. Let's recover this. Three days ago. I tried. This is Odin communicating. All right. right. What do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success and get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I can't I'll, believe uh... it. Time is oxygen, it's true. Our hands meeting right now. See subject, I'm in botany already. Get here. All right. That's where everyone is. Standard practice is don't use cry for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I asked. Right, sorry. 72 hours without serious risk of brain damage? Past that and you're really pushing it. How much oxygen? I mean, hardly any at all. Wait, where are you going with this? It's a good plan though. Uh-huh. But Bert says she could do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep and... And I'd need to write up a serious layer of interpreter code for us to pilot it from the inside, but... It's gonna be tight. And if you had more than 48 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, checking something. Okay, so she... Evie is like, good at her job. <laughs> but what if we weren't sending it down to get surprised? What if we're sending ourselves down in the delivery drone? So Roberta had the idea though. Yes, with some modifications, the bigger issue would be its lack of life support. Salvage from around Tacoma, we could rig up oxygen pressure, climate, drone down to Luna and get home from there. If we're not confident in VT making it up here before O2 runs out and we can't call for a pickup, getting down to Luna is our only real hope. Okay, sit tight. Good idea. Thanks, Bart. Anyway. Everybody went along with us. I'll head downstairs and I didn't start expect it on. Okay, who do we listen to first? Because this is separate conversation. Let's start with Bert and Nat again. I thought. Oh my god. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Yeah. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie! Hey, um, I know you're all like gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> Ride of your life. More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshops. We are leaving the recording. Okay. Sure. All right, then we go with EV and Knife next. There's an overlap here. Now we actually have to build hey, this Andrew. thing. Clive. Yeah, Wanna yeah. talk? Sure, Evie. Evie. Are, are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie. Hey, um, I know you're all... To get this done in like... About VT? We've got a chance we can't beat. Oh, so there's no... Plan. Now we just need to park it. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You 
you just wait. <laughs> Ride of your life. In more ways than one. I didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But BT could... BT's not fucking coming, Clive! BT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie, I don't want to be realistic with you. Well, time to go make final preparations then. <laughs> but not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together, like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've, we've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. One day. Oh, Evie. Uh, do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? Guess I'll catch up with y'all later then. Okay. So you have two more to follow? So I wanna, I wanna look around here quickly. Sorry, Anopsis hybrid. All right. Chairs. What's in the mug, though? Weird, but I like it. Is there nothing to do here? I don't think there's anything to do here. So we should rewind. All the way back to. Well, I'll head downstairs and get started on. Oh my something. god. Okay. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Sure. Hey, are are you okay? Evie. Hey. Nope, I'm not. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't see. Nope, I'm not. Zero two one eight. No, that's not right. Zero two eight one. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you want to talk about? I can't do it. Uh, I can't. I can't. I. This is all crazy. But you said you. I know. I, okay, I know what I said. But I. What was I supposed to say? You all. You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some jury rigged thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. It it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege. Well, some of us do. Andrew, I, I don't know what to say. Burton, that need us. They need you. 
Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm going to be the same one here. You know, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just... Give me a little time. Hey, Odin? Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I... Just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know, people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this, can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, all right? Of course. Okay, from Mark Thuro, just checking in about your renewal. Andrew, I'm not talking about who's paying the bills, I'm talking about Nicholas. See you every four months. And that's not even taking my feelings into account, so I'll set aside for now. You might not think he's showing it, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you back out of your contract renewal, we'll figure out a way to make it work. You know my parents did well in the currency crash. My dad always says, I just want you home. Relying on your parents' charity is your solution? I'm building equity up here. My loyalty will pay for Nicholas' score, and if I back out of this contract, we'll lose all that. And I'm not. Don't appreciate this emotional sabotage when you know really getting hard not to feel and appreciate it. Listen, I'm sorry, I just... Hmm, tough. So I guess we should just carry on as normal. We don't have much time, we need to make a contingency plan. But VT is supposed to come to pick us up, right? Within 24 hours? Listen, just increase our oxygen supply in the short term, if worse comes to worst. Mm -hmm. There's really no way of getting a signal out. There must be something you haven't tried yet. No, Andrew. Our comms are rooted through the security. VT laser array and it's been destroyed and the redundancies are destroyed. Stop messaging me. Well... Looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours anyway. Thanks, Odin. Evie, I. Alright, we've seen this. Hello? But, uh. So the oxygen went to, like, <laughs> really bad. But then it picked up today. Interesting. Algae population. And really up. In between two days ago and yesterday, but then really down, like way down. Why? It was too high, and then they, I guess they died off, and now they're recovering or something, so that's why oxygen is going back up, maybe? All right. Sure. What are you smoking? Croft?
Keep away from frame. Do not light. <laughs> sure, yeah. This is very secretly smoke. That looks weird. Stone shaping fundamentals for health for meditation. Make this effective more than meditative practice part of your life. Classes available for ages 5 and up for classes and instructions. Please contact. I don't know. Shoden Miema. East River, New York. Grab stone. Shape it. All purpose protein. <laughs> sounds. <laughs> sounds kind of bad. Anyway. Now oh, come on, put it back. Are we done down here? I think we are. So we have... Where's Sarah? She's still in here now? Hey, Hill. There it is. Je give me a little time. It's for her. And then we should end the episode, but I don't want to do it in the middle of the recording. Odin, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Your feet parted with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the soil. The dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. Oh, Evie. All right, what are we growing here? Just tomatoes? Bino Pappas. That's not tomatoes. Or is it not Pappas? Bino Pappas. What's growing in here? Got some chicken growing. Good amount. Running low on fish. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> and then beef over here. And mushrooms. Sure. Not growing any pork. No bacon. What a shame. What a shame. Is there a cat somewhere? I've not seen it. It feels like it should be somewhere here, but maybe it's not. Because this is like outside. Let's just check who lives here. Is it just Andrew? Yeah, this is Andrew. And I guess over there is Andrew's office, and then the other two people live in engineering, I assume. Which is like Bert and that, right? Okay. No recording here. 0281, we already got that. Anyway, we should end the episode. Andrew and his dad, maybe?
possibly. No secrets. I guess there could have been a secret on the other side. <laughs> if you left it closed and looked at it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just... I. Where would I be? Where would you, where would you be? Would you I hide in here? Oh, there's the cat. <laughs> I knew it had to be somewhere. It was just sleeping up there the whole time. Or does it move? Does it ever move? Is it always just sleeping? It's always just sleeping. Lazy cat. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, that does it for today then. At least one more episode. I don't know. I mean, that's the whole of engineering still. And Andrew's room and, and his office. And to Amazon University, apparently. All right, yeah, that's it for today. Two people here, I guess. Is this like a dance? <laughs> what is this pose? I don't know. We'll find out, but not not today. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye-bye.